Welcome to the Now Well Zone. I am Anau. Today we are talking about the basic divorce that you have experienced at a very, very, very early age. It's a divorce of monumental proportions. It's a strategic divorce. It's like an outside force comes along and forces you to divorce your wife or your spouse or partner, whoever it is. It's that kind of a deed that has been done to you. And we'll talk about that today. Nature provides this as a whole package to you when you are born. Nature provides this package to you. And all that needs to happen is uh, for something called conscious parenting to then take over and conscious education. By the way, did you know that the word education comes from the word educo, educo. Educo means to arise from within, insights that arise from within. This is one of my fundamental things that I say all the time. If you want to undo the work of the parasite, within you, just walk the opposite direction. Do the opposite thing. Think exactly the opposite of what the parasite tells you, the parasite and its minions. Because the parasite seeks to pervert, confuse and literally turn it on its head, the opposite. It is a very uh, particular form of uh, occult magic. Uh, to turn things completely uh, mirror, you know, it, it, to create a mirror effect and thus control. Incredible amounts of mind control can be achieved by twisting everything around, exactly the opposite. So educo, which is actually means coming from within, knowledge coming from within, the parasite has twisted it to get you to understand exactly the opposite of it and experience exactly the opposite of it. Doesn't it remind us of a certain novel written by a certain George Orwell or Orwell, where he talks about the Ministry of Peace being the instrument of war. Oh, wait, what are they called? The defense forces, are they? Hmm. I never saw anyone defending anything. I only saw life evidence of attack forces. Shouldn't they be called attack forces? Interesting that, that people think it's a novel. <laughs> it's a mere story. Meanwhile, the brainwashing uh, blinds everyone to exactly what is happening in their consensus insanity reality yeah so this basic divorce is responsible for all of this that i just outlined you will not see you you won't be able to see your ass from your elbow you just won't unable to simply the capacities never it never developed it kind of reminds us of that movie uh, the scene in the movie the matrix the first one the pretty much the only one really. The rest two are kind of money making machines a little bit and they kind of lost track of their own. They started believing their own bullshit. And in the first one, Neo is rescued and uh, he's uh, put in a, some kind of a pod, regenerating pod, and his, his needles are stuck into him. Lots of needles, acupuncture needles to regenerate his body. And at some point he wakes up a little bit, you know, and he asks, what's happening? Where am I? I can't see clearly or I can't move or something like that. And Morpheus says, that's because you've never used those muscles. And all this time, Neo thought that he was a normal man as a computer analyst and went to work every day, got told off by his boss. All this time he thought he was using his body and if someone had come along in the matrix and told him you are actually comatose in a, 
cod in, an, in a farm, he would not have believed. This basic divorce that has been done to you is very similar to that. This basic divorce ensures that you never use, all the while thinking that you're uh, amazing, you live your life, oh, I do exercise and I'm a muscle man and I'm fit as a fiddle and I climb rocks and I do this and I'm just the best. I have Instagram, 50, 100,000 million followers, they all kiss my feet. Amazing, isn't it? How much uh, amazing stuff you've done in your life. Everyone, everyone's got feathers in their caps and battle scars to show. I've been divorced five times. How about you? I've been divorced 10 times. I've fucked three women. How about you? I've fucked five. Oh, no, no. And now along comes Mr. Amazing. He, I've fucked 50. It's all just, oh, and then the other, me and my problems. I've got 10 problems in my life. How about you? Oh, I've got 20. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, even my kids are a problem. Even my dog and the dogs, the fleas on the dog's fur, are, it's all a problem for me. I know one guy who will create problems or problems will happen to this guy because that's living, challenges will come. And he will look for solutions. He'll genuinely look for solutions. And then when you, when solutions are offered, he will find every reason, every reason, valid. It's in his mind, they are amazing, valid reasons that he really believes them. But they're all arbitrary. There's no rhyme or reason for them, except that he just can't be bothered at the end, in the, right at the end, can't be bothered. He will find every reason to not pursue those solutions. You, uh, you can give him five different solutions. he would come up with five different reasons to not do them. It's amazing. Uh, very few people have that kind of talent. But he's changing slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. But it's all because of this basic divorce. What is this basic divorce? The divorce between being and then doing. That has been cut from you. That link has been cut from you. It is called education and schooling. I have known another guy. He prides, he's, he's been saving up all his life. Apparently in America, this education is a big deal. Uh, and it's a thing to send my children to university. It's a thing. It's an actual, you know, send my children to university. In India, it's the same deal. My father was like this. If it was a PhD, it doesn't matter if the PhD was a, the perfect example of an asshole. My father would kiss his feet. PhD, oh, oh, wow. Ah, he, must, he must be next to God himself. It's exactly the opposite, though. The more higher education, which basically is higher indoctrination. <laughs> I know this gentleman. He's an amazing guy. Fantastic guy. He's very proud that his child, he's looking forward to his children going to university. And I'm like, wow, I just can't see it. Can't see the divorce. Can't see the, the double think in that. Double think is another concept that George Orwell introduced in his 1984, the novel that I was uh, mentioning before, double think. You might want to look, look up this one because you are, I guarantee you this, you are riddled, riddled, like millions of termites in your system, constantly biting you. You're riddled with double think. Every one of you, riddled. Being and doing are basically the same phenomenon. Or, or, or is meant to be the same phenomenon so that another word should exist in this excuse for a language called English where it describes that state. Now, that state of being and doing <laughs> has been, the parasite has made sure that it is 
Disneyfied to the highest degree. It's called enlightenment. Enlightenment. Osho was enlightened. Uh, who else? Uh, Satya Sai Baba. Enlightened. And who else was enlightened? Uh, they say Sad Guru. <laughs> sad Guru. <laughs> enlightened. Right? But you might want to check out a name. U G Krishnamurti. You might want to check that one out. Enlightenment. The basic package that nature gives you. And now it's, it's, you know what enlightenment is like? I'll tell you what enlightenment is like. It's exactly like organic food. Think about what I just said. If you want to rewind this, because the brainwashing has put a fog in your mind and you can't connect the two, then I urge you to take as long as it takes, a week, two weeks, one year, whatever. I've taken a year to understand a simple phrase my benefactor said sometimes. A simple, that I, I know I should get it. I really, like, wow, it's, I hear it. I know I should understand this. This is so simple. I mean, I know English. I mean, come on. But no, the wisdom behind that would elude me. It would sometimes take me a year. So take as long as it takes. You know what enlightenment is exactly like? It's like organic food. Organic food is another of the parasite's tricks. Flip that around and you'll get the right uh, idea. This basic divorce was manifested in a comment on YouTube. Someone was talking about science and he said, oh, here an arm has really suffered from self-importance because uh, I can corroborate. This gentleman was, I can corroborate that. It's a lovely guy, really, you know. But the brainwashing is what I mock. The, and if you take it personally, then you're basically proving my point. He left a comment uh, saying, I have corroborated or, or I have seen, yes, sorry, I have seen that science has proven what the shamanic cultures of thousands of years have postulated. I wrote in the reply to the comment, I said, flip that around, flip it around. Shamanic cultures of thousands of years have already confirmed thousands of years ago what science is just beginning to postulate. That'll take you out of your white, white man's hubris, which you don't even know is endemic. It's genetic within you. It's genetic within you. It's genetic within you. Someone who switched on, that's a racist comment, what he just said. He doesn't, he, he, he doesn't know it. It's this basic divorce between being and doing. Being and doing. It can be, it, for you, as far as you're concerned, it's a skill you'll have to learn. It's an ability you'll have to gain. And you'll have to train. It will not come easy. It never does. It never does. It's a skill set, how to be in inner space, completely in your body, whilst doing something. Eckhart Tolle describes this very, very well in the book, The Power of Now. I urge you to read that book 10 times, 20 times, 50 times, carry it around with you everywhere for four or five years. Don't be a little shit and say, oh, I read it once and throw it away. That's not going to do anything. And learn this. If you do not learn this, I promise you, you can be the most knowledgeable person on earth. You can have the riches. You can have the bitches. You can have the britches. You can have everything you want in life. But you will remain in a pitiable state of affairs discontent, miserable in your soul and completely missing out on the blessings of your life.
You know why? Because you're not present. I had a guy who uh, wanted to apprentice with me and he said, Anam, you know, this is why I mentioned uh, this, this, these words. He said, you know, I want the riches. I want the power, the Toltec power. Seriously, like actual. I want the Toltec power. I want the riches and the bitches. He said that. And I'm sitting there listening to him like, <laughs> I, I couldn't even laugh because, I mean, that's like, okay, you want to be an apprentice here. <laughs> he was a really great guy. Everyone's a great guy, right? The whole world is a great guy. Everyone's got a good heart. The whole world's got a fucking good heart, right? But everyone's also dumb and everyone also acts like entitled little shits, don't they? You do too, pretty much all the time. It's because of this basic divorce. You don't know how to be relaxed. <sighs> breathing easy. A very, very slow inner world. Relaxed. And from there, you act. You act. If you need to act fast, you act fast. If you need to act slow, deliberate, you do that. If, if instinct needs to take over, instinct takes over. If you need to be strategic about it, then you do that. But it cannot come from your personality, your bullshit personal stories and your personal history, your even more bullshit education. I'm a PhD. Yes, I'm a PhD. <laughs> I'm a I'm a I'm a doctor. I know all about healing. No, you don't. You couldn't heal a freaking. You don't couldn't heal anything. You couldn't heal yourself. All you can do is employ two things: drugs and scalpels. That's all you know. That's not healing. That's why you're called a doctor. You know what doctoring is? Publishers understand doctoring as doctoring a document. You know what happens when you doctor a document? It's another form of editing. You are taking things out and you're tampering with the original document. You doctor the document. That's why these people are called doctors. They're doctors of the body. They are there to edit your body. Learn to understand the black magic of the parasite the parasite cannot operate in, in shadows. It can't. In order, I talked about this occult part, the, the, the biggest part of the whole scenario with the parasite. In The Great Divide, which is the previous video to the, uh, that has just been posted. And in order for this particular level of occult ritual to be successful, the parasite has to make everything obvious because the participation of the retards that are called the human race must be uh, They must choose to participate, even if it's involuntary. Right. I have apprentices who wear masks. They're working their way, letting go of such basic fears. But that's where humans start, right? I have other apprentices who got the fake documents and the works and they're all like, it's all over the place, all over the place. They're basically going, bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, bloop, bloop, bloop. I can't breathe, keep me above water. Bloop, 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 bloop. That's, that's where they're at. These are apprentices. These are not your normal people. These are above average, highly intelligent, <laughs> highly motivated, very powerful individuals. That's what they're struggling with. Just being brave enough to take off the, <laughs> the mask. <laughs> it's because of this basic divorce. This basic divorce will make sure that your conscience is dead. If your being has been separated from your doing, it's not the same thing. It will absolutely, the side effect or the, the predictable, maintainable effect of that is the, the conscience of the individual 
is uh, sidelined. They cannot, literally cannot hear it anymore. And uh, the concerns that an outside force brings along become the concerns of that being. What are those concerns for you as far as you're concerned? <laughs> getting laid, getting paid. Subscriptions and demands of those two things. Getting laid, getting paid. And the associated subscriptions, requirements, subclauses, bylaws of those two things. That's all your existence is. Why? Because of this basic divorce being and doing. You have to learn to be present in this moment. Letting go of your bullshit personal history and your uh, strange wishing and hoping dreams of the future. How you're the big celebrity of your own. In your own head, you're the biggest celebrity, aren't you? Either a negative one or a positive one. In your own head, you're the biggest villain. Oh, I, I am so, I'm so bad. I feel so guilty. Oh. Or I'm the, I'm the big bollocks. Ah. No one touches me. I'm, I'm the celebrity around here. In your own head, it's all <laughs> just <laughs> baking, baking shit cakes in your own oven. All because you have never, it has, hasn't even occurred to you that there is a dimension of living where you live by being and then doing from there. You can take being with you wherever you like. Wherever you are, you can be. From there, you can do. Doing is all you know. Because the parasite has made sure that doing is emphasized to the exclusion of everything else. I, I invite you. Here's a challenge for you. Here's a challenge for you. Walk down the street this week. Do it again and again. Initially, you won't be able to do it. And it'll show you that everything I say is true about you. Walk down the street. Stop in the middle of the street. Not in the middle of the road. Stop in the middle of the street and do nothing. For five minutes. Just do nothing. Just stand. Don't look busy. Don't try and look like you've got somewhere to go. Don't try. No. Simply just And watch how uncomfortable you feel. Especially if it's a busy street of these drones, commuters, with their uh, idiotic uh, slave coverings. Stand there. Take off your own slave covering if you have the guts. Just stand there doing nothing. Watch what happens. You will feel like the police are going to come anytime and get you to move along. Because it's almost a crime, isn't it, not to be doing something. Yeah. Yeah, that's the brainwashing. That's the brainwashing. Right there. Your best bet is to become proficient in Tai Chi. Proficiency means you have to put in at least, at least 10,000 hours. At least. That means proficiency. If you, have, if you can be bothered to enhance the quality of your own life, then you will want to achieve expertise in it. That means at least 50,000 hours of training. You can do it by yourself or with others. Mastery, if you can really be, want to be an impeccable warrior, if you fancy yourself an impeccable warrior, and you don't think this makes you an impeccable warrior, there must be more to being an impeccable warrior than just your keyboard and your mouse, then you want to go for mastery. I made a video on this called Proficiency, Expertise, Mastery. Well, at least that was the content. And for mastery, you have to make it a lifetime commitment. But what you will gain out of it will be so valuable that just that one journey will make your whole life worthwhile. In the process, you will re 
join being and doing, you will understand how to be and do. You'll understand all its ramifications, all the different ways to be like that. And it's arduous, it's long. It's not easy, it's very long. It's very long. This is not, none of this is if you want some results in two months or <laughs> kind of juvenile expectations like that. If you want to live life as a grown up adult, maybe someday, then try and expect results in 10 years, 20 years, 15 years of every day, constant, every day, relentless pursuit of knowledge. Then we can say that it will mature you in a certain way. On that note, being and doing, let me know what you think your opinion is, your thought is in the comments about this topic. Being and doing. How do you have any life evidence, any things you can share that you can bring to the table that demonstrate being and doing effectively? Some instances in your life where you experience that? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if this video was, was useful for you. And now uh, this is part of a bigger meeting of attendees of the Sunday Masterclass. I urge you to come and join in. Now we'll be doing questions and answers and take this topic uh, forward or any question and answers that the attendees have. On that note, walk in freedom. I will see you next time. Till then, farewell.